Back on the Airline 62316 from 1936, I'm going to do a little cabinet touch up here on the edges. This will not be a refinish. And I do want to get this old grill cloth out so that somebody stuck in sometime during its lifespan. And uh, looking at some original photos, it looks like the grill cloth was a, a brownish gold with uh, vertical stripes. So. I came up with a, a scrap piece of a grill cloth that I've got, and I think this will work. The hue also is a close match to the uh, dial scale. Looks like just a couple screws. Definitely an ugly uh, grill cloth selection. I think I'll go ahead and create a backer board and uh, place it down. I'm going to take this outside, see if I can clean this up here, just using some light sanding and get some of the uh, fragments of the old uh, grill cloth off of here. You can see using the sanding block, I got most of the uh, old fabric out. Still some small pieces there that are uh, stuck to the substrate, but no big deal. That'll be covered up and not visible. Let me go ahead and uh, cut out a uh, backer board in this area. And we'll attach the uh, new grill cloth to it after uh, cutting it to size and then uh, place it in here. You can see I'm going to just use a uh, piece of paper from my uh, composition book, lay it down, and uh, see if I can just use my fingers here and uh, create the uh, contour that I need. Let me cut this out, do a dry fit, and see if that's a close match. As I mentioned, I've got a, a good fit here now in the corners. We need to do this section and to make things a little clearer I think I'm going to use my uh, pencil and there we have it the template that I'll use for my uh, backer board for the uh, grill cloth you can see what I'm using here just some card stock I think it's a 12 by 12 sheet I'll cut it to size and again, if I needed this to be more rigid, I could just place a, a couple pieces together, use some spray adhesive as needed. As you can see, I'm wrapping up here on uh, cutting out the backer. And uh, let's give it a uh, try here, see if it's a good fit. I've got the air conditioning on, so uh, forgive the uh, background noise. Anyway, you can see the uh, backer cut out now in a uh, nice fit. So uh, let me reinsert this piece that holds the uh, backer in place and trace out the area for the uh, loudspeaker cutout. And then we can attach the uh, new grill cloth to the uh, backer board at that point. Okay, let me cut this section out here in the center. All right, you can see my uh, first cut. It's a nice fit, and I've got the uh, loudspeaker cutout area. But what I'm going to do is cut another one, and you can see the uh, width here of the uh, front substrate area. I'm going to leave that in place so the grill cloth will actually adhere to it. And I turned the cabinet back over and traced out around the uh, grill area itself so I can leave the uh, borders for the uh, grill cloth. And you can see I'm finishing the uh, trimming here on the uh, backer board. And then this piece will go down as such and hold the uh, backer board in place. I'm going to put a B here for back just so I don't forget even I've got my trace marks here just to make sure that I uh, put my grill cloth down to this side. You can see I used a little bit of the uh, magic sizing fabric finish 
just to uh, help get some of the wrinkles out of the grill cloth. Now the grill cloth I've chosen, unfortunately, is not wide enough. I'm about uh, probably a fourth of an inch too narrow. So I'm actually going to place uh, two pieces together, try to, to uh, overlap it, and uh, hopefully make the repair where it's not uh, noticeable. So I'm going to go out and spray the uh, backer board here with some spray adhesive. I'm just using a very light version for this. Again, it's going to be in a vertical position, no pressure, so I think we're in good shape there. Then we'll uh, come back in and apply the uh, first section of uh, grill cloth. I want to use my cutting mat as a guide here. Try to get this as tight as possible and straight as possible. Let me let that set up for just a few minutes. And there we have it with the uh, backer board in place. And let me get the uh, loudspeaker mounting hardware back in here. And we'll flip it around and take a look at things. A look at the new grill cloth that I installed. I can't see the repairs that I made. I think they're covered up, you know, by the uh, grill bars themselves. So uh, it turned out well. I'm going to do a little touch up on the cabinet with some markers, and that's about it. And just a real nice uh, cleaning, apply some wax, and uh, we'll get everything back together and uh, do a final play. You guys stay tuned for the next video. I'll uh, share some of the uh, steps on the uh, touch-up if it's uh, noteworthy. Looks like it may be pretty straightforward. Thanks again for watching, folks. Everyone out there, stay well and take care.